together. Coming home through the doorway of fear. And to set up this process, I'd like to invite everyone to think of something in your life, either something that's happening now or perhaps something you're afraid might happen in the future. Shining, for example. Something that could happen in the future to any of us, any time. Think of something you're afraid of. Again, where there's something that's already showing itself in your life now or something you're afraid might come down the road. Maybe you'll be homeless. Some people are afraid of that. Or go bankrupt. Or have the person you love most in the world die. Or die yourself. Or have your body in pain. I believe for just about all of us, there's probably something still that we have some fear around. I certainly do. So just reflect for a moment. Either something that's present now or something that might be coming down the pike that evokes fear. I, I don't want to experience. Just pick one thing. And it's happening now or it might happen down the road. It evokes fear. Cause you to contract. And as you focus on that, just begin to notice what happens in your body. Just notice if this places contraction, pain, and tightness. As you begin to, to notice that. Perhaps just be grateful. These are coming, this contraction is coming to the surface. Since it's only when fear or contraction comes into awareness that we have a chance to get free from it. When it's subconscious, it's just running us and limiting us, blocking us from truly coming home. So just be grateful that this fear is right here, that it's not hiding your subconscious or keeping your bodies in place. Just say thank you for this moment, this moment to meet this fear. And just, again, just focus on a situation or circumstance that evokes it, maybe even more intensely, to see that which you're afraid of. Imagine it happening now, it won't hurt you. Imagine it, it won't make it happen. Just bring forth the fear more fully. And as that fear comes up, and whatever other emotions may be packaged along with the fear, as much as you can, you can call in your mind and say thank you. Because this is a gift. This is the doorway. Home. To a deeper place than myself. Attitude. Just find the place in your body where you feel the most contraction right now. The most contraction or pain around this situation. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's in your belly. It often is. Maybe in your chest. Could be someplace else. And if there's, it seems like there's multiple places, just pick one which draws your attention. And just be with that. Not trying to heal it or make it go away or even to understand more. Just simply receiving the gift. Just like if a friend offered you a beautiful dessert you were up, would be an offer today. We just savor. Just taste it. Touch it. Maybe even smell it. So do that with this contraction, with this fear in your body. Just receive it as if it's the most beautiful, most wonderful gift you could possibly imagine life or God giving you right now. Just say yes to this contraction and say thank you to the giver, however you define that giver. And perhaps in the space of acceptance and gratitude, you can go deeper into this contraction and relax into it 
open to it even deeper. Perhaps begin to taste the love that's in the core of it. It's always love that brings the fear to the surface so it can be met, so it can be received. So just as we relax into this fear, just totally allowing it to be, <coughs> not have any need for the fear to go away or for any circumstance to change, simply just being with what is, simply receiving the present. The present is always what is, not what our mind might have preferred. Simply saying yes to this offering and saying thank you to the giver of all life. So we would just relax into it. Perhaps getting we're at home in this contraction. Perhaps finding, as we go deeper, the love is pushing the fear to the surface. We just allow ourselves just to relax right into the core, to the very center of this contraction in our body. Still using our body as a place of focus. Simply continuing to say yes to whatever presents itself in our awareness. And to say thank you for this gift, for this opportunity to come home. For the gift of awareness and courage receive this fear now, this contraction. And in this placeful, place of grateful awareness, enable this to relax all the way to the core, to the very center. Whatever contraction is still present in my body, it is tasted, touch it, listen to it, it has a voice or a sound. Become intimate with this contraction, wherever it is in my body. Just notice whatever I notice. Maybe it moves. Maybe it becomes more intense or less intense. Maybe its texture changes. Maybe it stays the same. Whatever it is. It's the gift, it's the present, and just say yes to it as it is, right now. And just dive all the way, relax all the way, touch all the way, to the very core, whatever contraction is strongest in my body right now. Feeling the feeling and the sensation. Simply receive it with a grateful open heart what life is offering now in the present. And now that I'm at the core, the center, deep in this contraction, I invite breath to come and meet me here. Continuing to focus on this place in my body where I feel the most contraction. Just notice what happens when breath comes in. Breath is pure love living spirit, holy spirit, fresh energy. Just invite that fresh energy right into the core. Just notice what happens. And then on the exhalation, imagine that breath is like a river again, the river of love. And as it flows out, imagine it flowing out right through the place you've been focusing with this new contraction in your body. And let that river just naturally pick up any debris from the past that's not helping you now and carry it downstream into the ocean of love.
And we'll notice the breath comes in. Perhaps it touches even deeper into the core, penetrates everything, and touches you here in the core of where you are. Just let yourself be touched. Receive the gift of life here and now in the middle of whatever contraction is still present. Say yes to the present. And as the breath goes out, again, feel it like a river just flowing downstream through the place in the body where there's still the most contraction. Just carrying downstream anything that's ready to go. Not pushing or forcing, just allowing. One more time as the breath comes in. So say yes to the pure energy of life, the pure love. And allow the energy to touch you right in the core of whatever contraction is strongest in your body right now. And then on the exhalation, one more time, imagine that river just flowing right through that place where there's been contraction, just carrying out Anything from the past does not need it now. And just feel your gratitude for the present, for this moment as it is. And if there's still contraction in your body, just be grateful for that. If contraction is gone, be grateful. For that also. So whatever it is, offer. Say yes to it. Say thank you for it. Just feel the peace. Simply receiving the gift. Allowing everything to be as it is. In the present. Right now. Hear yourself. Just hold it. Open, available, grateful. It's just moment by moment. The gift is always offered now. Allow your eyes to open. And you receive the visual gifts that are so abundantly offered in this moment, along with the breath, along with whatever else is offered, sensations or emotions.